I'm thinking a little bit more of a team effort and not just one genius putting out a great design. I mean, it should be explainable. Um, I don't. I don't think it should all be about a contest. You know what? It's it's not about getting the right answer. It's about going through the process and adding to our body of knowledge. Right. Together. A critical piece of the development of any project is the designing and scheduling of activities. With a clear timeline, both students and teachers are able to meet expectations and monitor progress. What I'm passing out now, this is a tentative timeline. Tentative meaning, of course, it's subject to change. Um, but there's a couple highlights that I wanted to point out about this tentative timeline. So we have some sense of big picture, where we're headed and why. Next week, we will be testing samples and we'll be testing various structures. It's very important to have a tight timeline developed and a strong sequence of activities laid out so that you have a clear sense of where the project is going and when it's going to end. Now that said, you need to be flexible because projects uh, do not lend themselves to exact planning always. They don't always fit exactly within the framework that you've decided upon. So as we think about next steps, there's a couple things to decide. Um, the first one is testing samples. I would like the idea of actually testing what they're going to test. Um, well, they can do a little, you know, okay, how much can you pull it? Or, you know, and we might be able to quantify that a little bit. Oh, sure. Building the wing, I'm not sure. I told them that we'd spend one day in class. I hope that that's enough time to get started. Yeah, the thing is, some of the stuff has to has to cure, the glue has to dry, or the starch has to dry, so it, it's, it would be cool if, if you could say, okay, we're going to, well, I know you have to limit them, but you could say, well, we're going to spend 20 minutes today. Okay, we could do, and we could do. And then we'll let it dry, and then the next time we get together, we'll be able to cut them and add more stuff. Flexibility with time is absolutely vital. I was expecting that the wings would take a day to build the shell, a day to build the interior, when in fact it took twice that long. Being able to have the flexibility, first of all, recognizing the problem, then second of all, having the flexibility to do something about that problem is essential. You know, some teams might want more time and how you'll, I'm sure you have a thousand things you could give them to um, say, okay, if you think you're done. Right. Because you're definitely going to have some teams that are trying more elaborate things and some teams that are simple, so. And I think what I, what I might do is say, this is the time I'm giving you in class. You have 40 minutes this first day to build your box we will devote the entire next period to finishing your design.